Hi everybody, it is Maya here with Psychic Protection Sanctuary and I don't normally do a live video when it is so windy outside but I'm just going to do it. <laughs> so, And I also don't have my stand, so um, the phone is going to shake every time I laugh. That's just going to happen. So um, I haven't been on live with you guys for a couple of weeks um, here in the spiritual empowerment community. So I just wanted to jump on here and uh, do something casual so a lot of times when I do a Facebook live I'll have like I'm teaching I have notes I have things that I want to share with you all uh, today uh, what day is it it's Thursday okay I have a little bit of a different schedule this week because um, uh, I took some time off last week uh, for a family matter and then um, tomorrow I'm going out of town to um, do readings at a psychic fair and so today is like partly day off and partly get everything ready for my trip and finish up my office stuff. So it's kind of a combo day. Uh, it's also laundry day, <laughs> which is uh, usually the day that I dress casual t-shirt and um, the uh, headscarf and everything. Anyway, so I was just getting ready to go out and run an errand. I actually um, need to go have my auto registration done. So just like real life stuff. Um, hi, Branda. So good to see you. So uh, I was just getting ready to go jump in the car. And I, don't, I checked my Facebook and I was like, I just really want to connect with you guys. <laughs> so this might be kind of quick. Um, I just wanted to share with you all something that's been on my mind and it might sound really simple, but I think we all need these reminders sometimes. And I sure did a couple of days ago from one of my friends. So I'm just going to share this with you all. So some of you who follow me on Facebook know that, uh, one of my family members passed away last week and, um, I'm not going to talk about it too much because I'm still emotional about it. Um, I will just say that uh, there, hmm, what do I want to say? <sighs> well, anytime someone passes away, there's definitely grieving and stuff to process. Uh, this particular situation has a lot of um, painful baggage with it. So um, it, was really hard. So, um, hi Jennifer. Good to see you. Jennifer's joining from Overland Park, Kansas. So, um, this is relevant to my point that I'm going to speak about here today. And, um, so I did a really good job with self care. Um, I really was kind of incapable of working for a couple of days. Uh, I just really couldn't work. <laughs> so I was just like so enmeshed in my, like, all my stuff that like I had to spend every day just like process emo processing huge amounts of emotional stuff. Um, so I basically like didn't accomplish hardly anything on those days. Um, and so I ended up taking five days off and I'm really glad that I was able to do that. Um, and uh, then I got back to work on Monday. Well, this past weekend was Mother's Day weekend anyway, so that I didn't schedule any classes or anything like that on purpose because it was Mother's Day. So I was just supposed to be doing my office stuff um, and I didn't get any of that done. So I um, jumped back into work on Monday. I felt like I was ready. I had done tons of self-care. Um, and so I jumped in, I was teaching, I was working with clients, I was doing my normal schedule and, um, and I did feel better. I had, um, created some closure, uh, on my final day off on Sunday. And so I was good to go or so I thought, so I don't know if this has ever happened to you all. And again, sorry for the wind. I think it's kind of appropriate for the issue that we're talking about though. Um, so you've probably had this happen to you before where oh my gosh the 
wind. Let's just enjoy the wind chimes for a moment. So you've probably had this happen to you before where you, um, in a very real way, find out that there are still many other layers that you need to work on. So like I did some preliminary healing. I did feel better. And on Monday, I had a good day. And then on Tuesday morning, I woke up and I checked my mess checked my messages. And there was a message about something about the logistics of a, a trip that I had scheduled for um, going out of town to visit some other family um, next week. And so it really, I mean, in normal circumstances, it would have been just like maybe a slight inconvenience or maybe like mildly stressful. Like there was just something that I was just going to have to like problem solve and figure out because the logistics looked like they weren't going to work the way that I thought I had planned for something. And um, there was kind of a possible wrench thrown into some things. Um, and normally it would be like a minor stressor, like I would just problem solve and figure it out, right? But instead, now it was really good that that day I didn't have any clients <laughs> because, oh my gosh, I mean, I had lots of other work to do, but I didn't have any clients. Um, and I think the universe kind of plans it that way for me. I end up having stuff happen almost always on days when... I don't have to hold space for other people. So thank goodness it always works out that way. But um, so normally that message would have been just like, oh, okay, I just got to deal with this. But instead I had a complete meltdown. <laughs> like I just felt completely overwhelmed. I felt like I kind of got frozen where like I can't deal with anything anymore. Like I just can't deal with because I was already trying to deal with a couple of different things going on that were super hard. Um, and I'm a strong person, so I'm good at a balance of self-care while also handling things. Uh, but you've probably had this happen before where you think you're fine. And then one little tiny thing, like the little straw, like put that little straw on the camel's back. And then all of a sudden, like everything, you're just like, oh my God, I can't do this. And uh, that's what happened to me on Tuesday morning. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, so I ended up taking a half day off on that day because I was just like, oh my God, I can't do this. And I just cried and I was like in complete overwhelm. And I messaged my best friend and I told her, I'm in complete overwhelm and I just like, I can't handle all this stuff. And, um, and she was so awesome. <laughs> she said, just handle one thing at a time, just one thing at a time. And that was great advice. I was like, okay, cause I'm trying to handle everything all at once. So, and she said, just worry about today. Just get done what has to be done today. There's the wind again. <laughs> Thanks, Branda. Branda says, sorry you've had to deal with so much hugs. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. I acknowledge that. And I also know that we all have shit happen in our lives. So I don't feel like I'm alone in that. And, um, I mean, I may, my stuff may be like, so the universe is, has, was currently squeezing me or like it has been like squishing me right, right now, but we all have those times. It just happens to be right now for me. I've ha I can think of a couple of times where I felt really squished by the universe. Like, oh my God, so much. Uh, but we all have that. Like we all have periods that are like that. Um. So thank you. And I also know that uh, we all have that. And that's why I'm sharing this. So we all have those times. And uh, what my friend shared with me was so simple and yet so important. And so um, what she said was, don't worry about the trip that's happening next week to go visit family. Just deal with today. And um, you know, the other part will work out. And um, you know, so and so we ended up um, 
so anyway, we ended up chatting for a little bit and I was like, okay, so I had to let some control go. I had to let go of some things like, I don't know the answer to that yet, but I'm just going to focus on what needs to be accomplished today. So that was the first reminder is um, just focus on now. So when you get into overwhelm, just focus on right now, what needs to be done right now. And the other thing, the other clarity that I came to after chatting with her was that right now is a period where um, I just need to be a little gentler. So I was trying to engage in a couple of projects. Um, I'll call them projects, but one of them is about uh, doing some uh, technical stuff on my program website, my Spiritual Empowerment um, Academy, uh, which is going great. That um, That's going great. Everything's awesome with that. There's like um, some, some computer or some um, aspects of the, the student website that I was gonna overhaul and create a sign in. Anyway, all this stuff that's gonna take some time for me to sit down and have plenty of brain space to be able to figure out the technical stuff. And then there's also um, some bookkeeping tasks that my accountant asked me to do that's gonna take several hours. It's not urgent though, but I was trying to get it, all of that done this week, plus my regular stuff. And I was like, oh my God. And I know, <laughs> so anyway, my clarity was, all right, what doesn't really need to be done right now? So let's just take that out. I, I have this app that I use that's called Todoist, not to do list, but to do ist. T O D O I S T. And it's an app on my phone, and you can also use it on your computer, and you create your to do list. And so I had that on my to do list for um, Tuesday. I was supposed to do like a huge amount of stuff on Tuesday. Uh, because I knew I was going to be traveling. I wanted to get it all done. I was going to be out of, t out of town this weekend for the psychic fair and then turn right around and go visit family for a week. Um, and I was trying to squish everything in plus there anyway, plus the family stress. So I'm like, okay, what can I take out of my to-do list and just do what needs to be done? So I took those extra things out. I put them in uh, into my schedule the middle of next month. So there's like plenty of time. And then I just focused on my core stuff that needs to be done. So sometimes we're going through a period where we feel, we feel strong. We feel like we're okay. Like I feel fine right now. Like I'm not like falling apart. I feel I'm focused on getting things done, but because we've gone through <clears throat> something really difficult recently, we're just not able, like we're just not physically and or emotionally able to take on as much as usual because our system is more fragile. And so, um, you know, I'm just putting off those couple of big projects that we're going to take a lot of brain cells to figure out. <laughs> like, I don't have as many brain cells right now. Like, I, in the, it, it's like a computer. Like, in the background, even though I'm getting ready to, to go on this business trip and I'm feeling fine, there's still this, like, program running in the background that's a healing program. Um, and uh, in addition to that, it's important to get more rest and um, take time for self-care, journaling, um, all of that. But sometimes when we're being, I was, I was jokingly call it being squished, being squished by the universe, you're just being squeezed extra hard, um, you know, and you'll just notice that there are certain things that you just, you just can't handle them the way you normally can. And so you just, you know, just have to simplify, put one foot in front of the other, just do what needs to be done and don't worry about the rest for right now. And, um, and then take things out. Oh my gosh. I just got some dust in my eye. Take things out of your schedule and, um, reschedule them for another time because, 
everything doesn't need to be done right now. And there's no um, schedule for healing, you know, and for grieving. And so, or whatever kind of stress that you might be dealing with. There's no schedule of that. Like, I was kind of laughing at myself, like, that I had compartmentalized and I was like, okay, I've taken five days off. I'm, I'm good. You know, it's, it's, uh, healing is a more gradual process. So that's just my reminder to you. I, I hope that you're not going through a period right now where the universe is squishing you. Um, but... Uh, if you are, then remember to engage in more self-care. And I do believe that all of us will have periods where we're being squeezed. So file this away in your mind. And remember that when you go through those periods, it's okay to take the non-essential tasks out uh, and put them later or, you know, put them in three months from now, whatever you need to do, just take the non-essentials out because you're super important. You've got to take care of you and keep yourself in balance. So I see we have a comment. Branda says, appreciate your willingness to be transparent. Great insights here. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, you're welcome. So good to connect with um, a couple of you. I usually try to make an announcement that I'm going to do a Facebook Live. Um, but I think it's okay to do, um, you know, spur of the moment ones as well, just to drop in and say hi. And uh, maybe I need to get you all more used to <laughs> me doing that. So you'll pop in when I, when I uh, go live. But anyway, um, I am so glad to connect with, it looks like I connected with two of you, Jennifer and Branda, and hello to everybody who watches the replay. Good to see you all. I am going to go run a couple of errands. It's a beautiful day out here on the Kansas Prairie. You all want to take a look? Let me, let me, um, uh, turn the camera around and then you can see, uh, I'll give you like a little peaceful moment with the wind chimes right after I read this comment. From Jennifer, so sorry to hear you've been having a rough time, but also so glad to hear you're on top of self-care and healing. Um, hearing about it is inspiring to others. Yeah, you know, I do want to thank, thank you for saying that. Um, this, I think, will resonate with a lot of you. What came up for me with the uh, death of a family member was um, there have been years and years of an unresolved issue um, that has been very sad and up and upsetting and heartbreaking and everything um, that I've been walking through life with and trying to heal it however I can. But um, when uh, when someone passes away, as happened in this case, then all of that stuff that's been buried, and I'm a big believer in trying to not bury anything, but sometimes you're kind of stuck, like you're uh, kind of at a loss for how to heal that stuff um, you know, when it's really challenging stuff. So all that stuff, so when that person passes away, all that stuff just comes pouring out. It's like years and years of, um, of stuff. So it is an opportunity for healing. I do think that some of you watching this will, will be able to relate that uh, when something really major happens, like a death of someone uh, or some other kind of major loss, like all of the issues surrounding that just come up in a big way. And that's the opportunity to, to do some deeper healing of that stuff that was already there to begin with um, and it was asking to be healed so that's something to keep in mind so here's a couple of peaceful moments for you all let me turn my phone around give me a second okay whoa all right this is my new wind chime the other one literally all of the metal bars uh, because it gets so windy out here, all of the metal bars over time had um, gotten, had like flown away <laughs> because the strings would get so worn down. And so last week I went and bought another one 
And this is another new one that I got in Sedona three months ago because that had to replace another one that got completely thrashed. I always laugh about how my wind chimes only last, like they'll last maybe six to nine months, <laughs> but I love them. And this is my mimosa tree and the leaves are just starting to come out finally. And um, in a few weeks, I think last year it bloomed in June. So it's a late bloomer. And there's all these flowers on the tree and there are thousands of butterflies that will hang out around the tree. So I sit out here and watch all the butterflies. It's just magical out here. I love it. Love it. Love it. Now the wind stopped. <laughs> now that I'm done talking. That's funny. Oh, look at the clouds. Sunny day. Wow. Oh, we have one more comment. I think when someone passes, we don't even realize before that there were things we pushed aside buried. Glad you were able to move through it. Yes, that is so true. Sometimes we don't realize how much is there until that happens and it all comes just pouring out in just such a huge way. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a beautiful day. And as always, sending you all my love. Oh, there's one more thing. Um, I had on my calendar to do a special uh, challenge, uh, f Facebook Live challenge or online challenge with you guys. We did one in January. There was a 14-day challenge, um, spiritual empowerment um, activation. And those of you who were a part of that loved it. Here's the wind again. And I'm planning on doing a seven day challenge in June. I was going to do it at the beginning of June, but let me get back from visiting family and I'll get it all organized. Um, so I am planning on doing that and it will be totally different than the last one. And I will um, map that out and let you know when it's going to happen. So um, keep your eyes uh, peeled and um, I will be posting more information within this group spiritual empowerment community and in other places as well I am sure so everybody have a beautiful day and stay tuned until next time